demystifying would in English conditionals. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Intermediate English Grammar Series. Today we'll be diving into a tricky area of English conditionals that often confuses learners. The inappropriate use of the modal verb, would. Remember, mastering this detail can make a huge difference in your English fluency. First things first, let's revisit what would is. It's a modal verb often used in conditional sentences to talk about hypothetical situations or to express politeness, willingness, or a preference. The trouble comes when we try to use would in the if clause of a conditional sentence, which is generally not correct. Consider this incorrect example, incorrect. If I would have more time, I would read more books. Now, the correct version. Correct. If I had more time, I would read more books. It's crucial to remember that would is generally used in the main clause of a conditional sentence and not in the if clause. Here are more correct examples. If it rained, I would stay at home. If you were free, we would go to the cinema. There is one exception to the rule we've just discussed. When would is used in the if clause to show a habit in the past. In this case, it is perfectly fine to use would in the if clause. Let's look at an example. Correct. If he came to town, we would always have dinner together. This sentence refers to a habit in the past, hence the use of would in the if clause is acceptable. That wraps up our discussion on the correct usage of would in English conditional sentences. We hope this clears up any confusion and will help you avoid common mistakes. As always, practice is key, so try creating your own sentences using would appropriately. Thank you for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning!